Hi, I'm Arthur Dirksen, the founder of bestzapper.com, where we teach you how to rebuild your health safely and naturally using the methods and the equipment of Dr. Halda Clark. And we're doing part two here on the Halda Clark zapper and radioactivity because there's been a lot of concern of people asking questions. Uh, what can we do naturally to protect ourselves? You know, not just gulping down potassium iodide and hiding in our houses or trying to find a fallout shelter and live underground. What can we do practically? And so today we're going to look at some very simple stuff from Dr. Clark's book, her last book called The Cure and Prevention of All Diseases. Great book, I really recommend it. And we're going to look here at page 326 because in here, of course, in this book, she talks about the dangers of radioactivity and how polonium in particular, uh, radioactive material that uh, is formed from radon gas and you know, actually from uranium to radon on down through, it forms polonium at one of its stages. And in our body, the polonium is what actually causes the cancer. A couple pages before that she says uh, in so many words, polonium causes all our cancers, not just lung cancers, by starting the cancer complex to form. Page 323. And it does this by uh, releasing little bullets called alpha particles, which just uh, blast through our tissues and cut chromosomes and do all kinds of severe damage, even though they don't go very far but in the millimeter or so of travel that they do, they cut things wide open and cause great damage and, and, and get the uh, cancer complex to form. So, page 326, she says, we sweat and excrete all the radioactive elements all the time, but many linger in us because they attach themselves to our bacteria. Our salmonellas, E. coli, and others routinely have polonium, promethium, cerium, and terbium attached to them. As our white blood cells attack these bacteria, they are confronted with the radioactivity on them. Almost immediately, the white blood cells' vitamin C is consumed. The germanium and selenium, remember you got to feed your white blood cells? Remember we have a video on this, how to feed your white blood cells. You have to give them organic germanium, organic selenium, and lots of vitamin C, which you can get either as you know, ascorbic acid, but even better, is good fresh ground rose hips. So, uh, the germanium and selenium are not specifically, you know, especially depleted by radiation, but the vitamin C is quickly gone. So it says, unless they get more vitamin C, the white blood cells, namely your entire immune system, is stalled. It takes large amounts, grams, not just milligrams, of vitamin C to keep radioactivity flowing out of the body. Of course, that's what we want. If we've got radioactivity coming in, you know, if something's getting follow up, a fallout, uh, that's a term we haven't heard for a long time. You know, I've been, I'm 61 now, and uh, boy, I remember as a kid, we were talk, hearing about fallout and fallout shelters. People built fallout shelters and stacked them with food and everything else down underground because radioactive fallout would just make the earth uh, deadly to live in until it had decayed, you know, the cesium and the... Uh, iodine and all these things that would be uh, l dropped on the earth by uh, nuclear war. Well, fallout puts ra radioactivity into our diet, whether it's, you know, fallout that's collected on the leaves of the plants that we wind up eating or the, you know, the, it, it gets into the meat of the animals that eat the plants or whatever it is. But to keep the radioactivity flowing out, you need grams of vitamin C. Well, a nice way to get that is just taking teaspoonfuls of ground up fresh rosehip powder. And we get it from the good people over at San Francisco Herbs and uh, buzz it up in our coffee grinder. So it takes vitamin C, large amounts, or you can get the uh, beautiful ascorbic acid that's been tested as safe and pure from www.drclarkstore.com. That's the source that we use and recommend. And so you get this going. Keep feeding your body lots of vitamin C, grams a day. You know, you can take five grams a day. That's not too much. Ten grams. Linus Pauling took between, I think, 15 and 20 grams of vitamin C every day. 
for the last 40 years of his life, and he lived to be 96 years old in great health. So, uh, you know, it's not going to hurt you. So that's one of the key things. Okay, we've got three key things we want to talk to you about. First is vitamin C, because that keeps your white blood cells powered up to handle radioactivity. And of course, their job is to take things that don't belong in the body and get them out through the kidneys. And they need vitamin C to do that. The second thing is, of course, the zapper. And the reason that helps is because zapping wakes up white blood cells that have gone to sleep, that have been put to sleep by toxins, such as the radioactivity and so on in our food and water and air. And so that is a great tool. Just use the zapper on a daily basis. Of course, our little AutoZap 5 super fast zapper does it in five minutes. And so you can do a couple of zappings instead of two hours in just 10 minutes. And as these days get kind of tense with uh, the threat of nuclear waste like this, you can do your zapping very efficiently and with the confidence of knowing that things are going to be you know, done right. So zapping, zap every day to wake up those white blood cells and then of course feed them that extra vitamin C either as ascorbic acid or as the rosehip powder. Then the zapicator. And this is an interesting one. Dr. Clark, uh, when she passed away in 2009, did not know all the things that the Zappicator could do. And I, we still don't know. We're finding out new things all the time. But there's some research going on in Texas that's quite interesting, indicating that Zappicating may, in Zappicating for hours, not just for 15 minutes like you usually do for food, but Zappicating for several hours may actually be able to detox things, they, uh, they believe that it's possible to actually detox the Clorox, the industrial bleach, which all those things, you know, the heavy metals, the azo dyes, and the polonium. Very interesting stuff going on. We're not sure of all this yet. It's, it's looking very promising. We're working on getting that confirmed. So, uh, great idea to just zappicate your food, and you can do it for longer if you want to. Uh, so, that would be something that you know, I'm going to do. Uh, so, and the next thing is, uh, what about iodine? We read about iodine, they're giving potassium iodide pills and all this stuff. That stuff is toxic and they give serious amounts of it and it's only really useful if you're exposed to radioactive iodine-131, if there's, you know, a sort of a meltdown or a nuclear incident right in your immediate area within, you know, a couple hundred miles or kilometers of you, typically. Uh, if you see the flash from a nuclear weapon, you know, he might be able to profit from iodine-131. But, uh, or sorry, from potassium iodide to protect you by basically filling up the iodine receptors in your thyroid gland and protecting, uh, preventing uh, thyroid cancer down the road. But we take iodine every day, not for radioactive protection, but just because every gland in your body needs iodine a lot more than the minimum recommended daily allowance uh, of 150 micrograms. Uh, we take about 24 times that on a regular basis. And the form we use is Iosol. We have a great little paper by uh, Dr. Michael Donaldson on iodine and why you need it. It's got about five pages of scientific references you can check out. It's great. And so if you want to get a balanced view on iodine, you'll probably wind up, uh, I think, getting some iosol yourself and using it, which is a good thing for you and your family. Uh, also, natural sources of iodine, and again, this is not to protect you against radioactivity, although it will help to do that, obviously, if you're prepared before the stuff comes by. But um, there's good sources of iodine in sea vegetation as well as in chlorella and spirulina. So uh, this is all good stuff to take and it will, of course, give you a huge bonus as well in just good nutrition. We take some chlorella and spirulina each day with our Barley Plus, uh, you know, the organic dried barley juice, barley alfalfa leaf juice. So that's it. Three things that you can do to really be proactive. Uh, the zapper with vitamin C, lots of vitamin C, rosehip powder, and uh, 
you know, you can, and you can do it in so many different ways. You don't have to just take it dry with a spoon. You can put it into water and uh, hot water and make kind of a rose hip tea. You can put it into your cereal. You can put it into a blender with a fruit smoothie or something like that. There's lots of ways that you can take the rose hip powder and the vitamin C, uh, build it right into your, your diet on a regular basis. Take five grams or more. Uh, that's one heaping teaspoon of uh, rose hip powder or a level teaspoon of the ascorbic acid is five grams. So go for it. Uh, and then the zapicator. Zapicate your food, you zapicate your body. And one of the cool things about the zapicator is you can actually zapicate your food after you've eaten it. Just put it over your tummy and run it for the half hour. That's kind of cool. You can actually do it in your body. So that's it. Uh, some good news about what you can do naturally to protect your body, to keep your system flowing freely, even if there's radioactivity coming in, you can keep it from just soaking in and staying by having your white blood cells active, eager, strengthened by the vitamin C that they need to deal with radioactivity. It's good news. One more thing. We just want to really encourage you to get a conversation going now. I'm putting this on my blog at zapperexperts.com and we want to get your feedback. If you've got questions, if there's anything I just said that's not clear to you, if you don't have Dr. Clark's book, The Cure and Prevention of All Cancers, and you can't read pages you know, 221, uh, to, uh, 223 to 231, uh, fire away. Ask questions. Let's get some good discussion going on the blog. I really welcome your contributions. That's at zapperexperts.com. On the right side, you'll see you can just sign up for the, uh, the blog and you'll be notified of everything coming out in the future. Uh, I think we've got some other good news coming up. Be encouraged. Get involved. Let us know what you're thinking. If you've got questions, if you've got comments, if you've got a new resource that we don't know about, a natural health resource that'll help all of us, by all means, share it. We just really welcome you guys. God bless you.